Hey everyone, Chris Robertson here, bringing you a shoe review on the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Track Spikes. Just got them in today, really excited to unbox them right now, as well as take them to the track for some reps to try them out. I've pretty much raced in every Nike shoe over the past few years, including all their super shoes on the roads, the OG Vaporfly 4%, the 4% Fly Knits, the Next% Percent and also the Alpha Flies. I've also been racing on the track in the Nike Victories for a number of years, various versions of them, and then the Nike uh, Victory Elite 2s. I've raced pretty much every distance in these shoes, everything from a beer mile on the track to a marathon on the roads, and I'm very curious to see how the Dragonfly combines the best of both worlds in the Zoom X foam that leaves your legs feeling not too sore after a big effort, combined with the lightness and the traction that in the speed that you feel from a, from a Nike track spike. So I certainly have high hopes. They've been hyped up a lot. Um, I'm hoping that I don't go to the track, try them out and feel underwhelmed because my expectations are very high going into this. So let's get into it. I'm gonna unbox the Dragonflies for you. I'll compare them just based on look and feel to uh, the other Nike track spikes that I have sitting here. And then I'll take them to the track test them out, get some footage of that, and give you my thoughts after having run some reps in them. All right, so Nike Zoom X Dragonflies. Got the standard Nike track and field carrying bag that comes with all of their nice racing flats over the past couple of years. And the shoes themselves. So first impression, I just picked this thing up and it weighs very little. Uh, definitely as light as Nike's other track spikes. Maybe uh, maybe slightly heavier than these other spikes, but hardly. I think negligible amount of difference in the weight of the shoe. Um, and the other first impression, these things just look beautiful. Super swaggy. I love the all white, uh, especially with the blues and red tones, which will be perfect for running in the Team USA Beer Mile jersey, the red, white, and blue. Um, very nervous to get a blister in these and bleed and or step in some mud and just completely destroy them and, and make them look disgusting. But I'll just have to be very careful and only wear them on special occasions, I suppose, or just buy another pair. I mean, that's always an option as well, right? So if we look at the thickness of the sole, definitely thicker than previous Nike track spikes. You can see the Nike Victory Elite 2s here. So there's certainly more foam on the bottom of the shoe itself. So that leads me to believe that it probably is going to be uh, cushier and leave your legs feeling a little fresher at the end of the race and post-race than what the traditional spike would. The spike plate is very similar. You have the six spike configuration on the bottom. So nothing new there. Uh, and also just a super cool uh, colorway on these dragonflies on the bottom as well. And in the bag you have standard spikes and wrench along with it. So there's nothing overly crazy here compared to previous Nike track spikes. The main difference being the thickness of that foam that you have on the sole of the shoe. And that being what's gonna leave your legs uh, ready to roll at the end of a race, still feeling fresh, able to kick it down, and then feeling pretty good the day after the race as well. Maybe, maybe less destroyed calves and quads than normal. But other than that, very similar to other Nike spikes in the, the look, the spike configuration, the cutout at the back of the heel, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so let's take these to the track and let's get some reps. All right, just took these bad boys to the track, tried them out, did a few hundred meter strides in them, as well as an eggnog mile of all things. Uh, video link in the description to see that. 
Overall, really like the Dragonfly. There's definitely a lot of extra cushion compared to a normal track spike, which was noticeable the further along I was getting into the, the eggnog mile that I was doing. Uh, there's definitely a lot of energy return. One thing that felt a little weird to me at least, but maybe it's just my first time wearing them, was that they seem to uh, be almost too bouncy and too cushy. Uh, I felt like I wouldn't want to wear these for a really short race, like a 400 or 800, because there was almost too much cushion there and not enough uh, stiffness to be able to really sprint off the toes on them. Uh, there's really a nice ride from heel to forefoot, more so than there is just landing on your forefoot and quickly being able to push off. I don't know if that was just my first impression, having only worn them for about two miles today. Um, but that was one thing that I noticed first. I definitely came away from the track though, not sore at all in the calves, quads, anywhere. I think that that extra foam uh, in ZoomX material in the sole of the shoe makes a big difference. Uh, this would definitely be my spike of choice for a 5K or a 10K on the track, undoubtedly. I would still maybe stick with a more uh, sprinter type of spike or a victory uh, for say an 800 meter race, but anything mile and up, this is probably the go-to uh, spike for that distance. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, after about two miles, they look to be in good shape. No major issues or wear and tear or scuffs or anything like that. The spikes themselves got super worn down already just in two miles, uh, especially these back couple here. I don't know if I strike a little weird on my foot, but basically all the uh, sharpness on the tips of the spikes already worn down, but that's not the shoe's fault. That's just the uh, spikes in general. So probably want to have an extra set of those laying around to put in before a new race, but overall held up pretty well for being two miles in. So definitely could be used for a number of races. Luckily, didn't get any sort of blisters or step in any mud. So they're still looking fresh and swaggy, that bright white. I don't know how long my luck will last with that, but still good after two miles. All in all, definitely would recommend these, especially being $150, which is $100 less than, actually more than $100 less than the Next Percents Alpha Flies. Uh, they're certainly a step up from the other spikes on the market for 5K and 10K distance, maybe even 3K a mile on the track. So for the $150, definitely think they're worth it. I think that the difference compared to the Victory Elites and the Victories with the added Zoom X cushion is enough to make it worth it to pay the extra few bucks to, to step up to the, the Dragonfly spike. But that's just my opinion after two miles. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think, let others know what you think. If you've tried the Dragonfly, let us know what you thought of it, as well as if you have any other questions about the shoe, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to everyone and answer those questions for you. Cheers, everyone. And again, they're just really swaggy. I mean, look at these things, super swaggy.